How's it going? My name is Mr. Milanese, and today we're talking about two-way frequency tables. Okay, so what is a two-way frequency table? Well, if you remember, a regular frequency table is a way to count or figure out how many of something that there is for a certain category. Well, a two-way frequency table is the same thing, but it allows us to keep track of two different types of information at the same time. So here's how I taught this in class, is we got into an epic game of trash get ball. And so what I had is all the students lined up and we each, they each took a shot and we kept track of how many people made and missed the basket, but we were also paying attention to gender. So how many people, how many boys made a basket and how many girls made a basket. So this is some sample data that we got from that experiment. And let's take a look and make sure we understand how to read a two-way frequency table. Uh, so if we counted them all up, there were seven boys who made a basket. Uh, there were also six girls who made a basket. What the two-way frequency table enables us to do is not just keep track of boys and girls, but we're keeping track of made and missed. So we also have the data for the boys who missed a basket, which was 11, and the girls who missed a basket, which is 9. Okay. Now, what you'll notice is that there, in this particular table, we also have the totals uh, row and column. So we can use that to, for instance, um, if we see that there are seven boys who made a basket and 11 boys who missed a basket, then we can see that the total number of boys in the class on that day would be seven plus 11 is uh, 18. So there are 18 boys in the class. You can do the same thing here and say that there are 15 girls in the class because if you take six plus nine, you get 15. It's the total for that column. Do the same thing in the rows. Uh, if we look at the total number of people who made a basket, regardless of gender, seven plus six is 13. Uh, we can do the same thing and figure out that there are 20 people who missed a basket because 11 plus nine is 20. Now, what goes in this bottom category? As you might imagine, it's the grand total or the total number of people in the class altogether. So if we take 13 plus 20, we get 33. Now you'll notice that if we added 18 and 15, we also get 33. That's not a coincidence, that's just because that's how many people were in the class, so it has to total to 33 either way. So that is how we make a two-way frequency table. 